what is happening is probably one of the most effective, diabolical means of propaganda. The television, the media, that in its inception appeared to be a very innocent tool, has now become a powerful tool of mind control. Anybody can be demonized. And people are watching that television and they believe in it. If the CNN says it, it must have happened. This is being beamed all over the world in the mountains of Nepal, in the deserts of the Sahara, in the jungles of South America, somebody got a TV. And they're watching the international um, propaganda or one-sided information that is being spread throughout the world. This is the new deception. If you look in a study they did in a survey that the average worker watches 30 hours of television a week. Children, they say 40 to 60 hours of television a week, a full-time job, watching nonsense. This is what they're doing. When you go to the managers of these people, they watch 20 hours a week. When you go to the, you know, the people over the managers, then you get like 10 hours a week. When you get to the CEOs, they watch two to three hours of television a week. 50% of that material is material related to the work that they're doing. So the movers and shakers in this world are not sitting around watching television. They're utilizing their lives for shur, for evil. And they're spreading their facade all over the world, but they're busy at it. And the Muslims are asleep, and because we have gone to sleep, they have taken over. And so this order, this that some people speak about, is an order that would have religion on the side. People who believe in God, you consider to be an ignorant person, a backward person. It also glorifies race and nationalism. It also promotes class divisions. There's the rich and the poor, and it seems like in many countries, the rich are getting richer, and the poor are getting poorer. And that is what we see on the outside. On the inside of the people's hearts, they are being deceived into the love of the life of this world. It is a confusion, it is a fantasy world being promoted to you. It is an international Disneyland which is being propagated to the people of the world. So you think that that's what the world is. You think that everything will be okay if you live in a certain way, if you eat certain foods, if you act in a certain way. This is ghurah. It is deception. Because we have gone to sleep, they have taken over. And that's why we find ourselves in the horrific condition we find ourselves in. And until the Muslims wake up, it's just going to one nightmare to another. We're just going to be in one nightmare to another. That's all it is. They're just nightmares because we're asleep. And when we wake up, then we can enter into the light of day. And Islam is a deen about waking up. That's what it is. Religion is supposed to wake people up. They'll use the drug of television. They'll use the drug of their mass media. They'll use all these drugs, but they're going to keep you asleep because they fear the day that you wake up. That's what they fear. And you should be very well aware of that.